Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Thomas Tigg, and you're listening to Signalize, a Dazzle for Rare podcast. Whether you're a patient, advocate, caregiver, or a clinician, Signalize is your source for good news, personal stories, events, and the things that rare and associated communities care about. Follow Signalize and Dazzle for Rare at D A Z Z L E, the number four, R A R E, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, where we'll post episode links, updates, and more. Hey, happy Wednesday or whatever day it may be when you're listening to Signalize Does for a podcast. I have a podcast programming update. So now that we are in our second month of Signalize the Dazzle for our podcast, and we have a few episodes under our belt, we will be moving to a bi-monthly schedule. This means that today's episode will be a short one, and our next episode will be full length, and then we will go to every other week. If you enjoy Signalize, a Dazzle for Rare podcast, and you'd like to join me, I'd love to have you. We're really interested in talking to folks in the rare disease global community. We're interested in talking to folks in comorbid communities who have a lot to share with us. Uh, We're open to speaking to clinicians and all sorts of folks. So we'd love to share your story, your community, and your awareness here on the Dazzle for Rare podcast, Signalize. If you'd like to join me, you can email me at Kimberly at D-A-Z-Z-L-E, the number four, rare, R-A-R-E dot net, or you can find me on LinkedIn in the show notes. Did you know that Dazzle Frere and the Dazzle Frere Network maintains a Google calendar, actually two, for events and for awareness days? We do. If you have an awareness day, week, or month that you'd like to add to our calendar, then please reach out to me. Uh, This is a community-maintained calendar, which means while I do add the bulk of the events, other folks in our communities add to it as well. And we have folks in countries around the world. So this is for awareness days, weeks, and months. We also have what we call uh, a rare disease events calendar. So if you have an upcoming webinar, a weekly, monthly chat, a support group, anything else that is on your calendar for your community, please feel free to add it to our calendar where we collaborate with several different organizations and individuals in our rare disease global network. So if you're interested in either or both of these calendars, uh, I can help you subscribe and you can start adding events for yourself. The way to reach me is Kimberly at dazzleferrer.net. That's D-A-Z-Z-L-E, the number four, R-A-R-E dot net. And I'll be happy to share details with you. You can also reach out to me on LinkedIn and I'll hook you up with that information. Did you know that friend of the Dazzle, David Ross, leads a monthly men's rare disease mental health virtual meeting? He does. The next meeting is this month on the 27th of November, which I believe is a Sunday. You can find him on LinkedIn is David Simon Ross, or you can find him on social media. I'll go ahead and drop his details in the show notes. It's autumn, and you know what that means? The Cambridge Rare Disease Network will be hosting its annual Rare Fest 2022. Engage, educate, and empower. The Rare Fest 2022 will be taking place in person this year. Uh, The Cambridge Guild Hall is the venue of choice this year, and the event will be happening across two days on the 25th and the 26th of November 2022. Rare Fest is a public-facing, two-day rare disease-inspired festival. It features interactive exhibits, talks, film, and art, showcasing the groundbreaking science, visionary technology, and pioneering organizations, all improving lives and bringing hope to those affected by rare conditions. You can still book your tickets today by going to camerdisease.org slash rarefest22. There is an orange book tickets button at the top of the screen. Just go ahead and click on that, and it'll take you to where you can book your tickets now. We are two weeks into November, and we have a few awareness days that have passed, and we have a few that are coming up. Already passed in November was the 1st of November, Wear Orange for CRPS. The rest of November is still CRPS Awareness Month, so if you are keen to show your support for CRPS Warriors, also known as Chronic Regional Pain Syndrome Warriors, then please get out your orange gear and show your support. Also in November, we had FCS Awareness Day on the 6th. Coming up, we have World Net Cancer Day on the 10th. According to Cancer Research UK, net cancers are neuroendocrine tumors, known as NETs, and they are rare. They develop in the cells of the neuroendocrine system. So to break that down, it is that link between the brain 
and your endocrine system. So in your brain, you sort of have the pituitary gland and that links in with things like thyroid and other hormonal systems. So uh, neuroendocrine tumors develop in the neuroendocrine system. They are also called neuroendocrine neoplasms or NENs. There are a, there are several types of neck cancers. Um, the type of cancer that you will develop will depend on where the cancer cells started, where the tumor starts. I'm sharing this awareness with you not only because uh, neck cancer is a rare condition or neck cancers are considered rare, but I also lost a very old friend of mine to neck cancer in 2018. Uh, and he was not a rare disease advocate. He was not uh, involved in the, the activities that I've been involved with. Uh, he was just a regular guy, a radio DJ in Phoenix, Arizona. And unfortunately, he left behind a very young son and a young wife, and he left us too soon. But detection, early detection, certainly is important. So for you and for your family, or potentially for someone that you care about, head over to endocrinecancer.org.uk to learn more about net cancers. That's neuroendocrinecancer.org.uk. I'll also make sure to drop the link for uh, Neuroendocrine Cancers UK in the show notes. Another friend of the podcast and of the Dazzle, Sean Gordon, recently published a fascinating article on the Rare Revolution magazine blog, Rare Tech, called Merging the Metaverse and the Rare Disease Community. Join the conversation. We will drop a link to the article in the show notes so that you can read it for yourself, or if you follow me on LinkedIn, I've already posted it to my timeline. Speaking of the metaverse and social media, We'll probably be talking about how changes to Twitter and changes to social media platforms in general will be affecting our rare disease communities. So please don't forget to subscribe to hear that episode when it comes up. As I always say, Dazzle for Rare works because you do. We're here to celebrate your achievements, your awareness events, and your personal stories. To enable Dazzle for Rare to continue to run the yearly event every second week of August and this podcast, it helps us immensely if you share episodes on your social media, reshare our podcast and other posts on social media, and of course, subscribe to the podcast so that you never miss an episode. You can subscribe on your favorite platform so it's easy for you to stay up to date on on signalize news, events, and topics that are of importance to our communities. We are Rare Family. Thanks for listening to this week's episode of Signalize, a Dazzle for Rare podcast. To stay up to date on the podcast and Dazzle for Rare, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at D-A-Z-Z-L-E, the number four, Rare, R-A-R-E. And finally, if you liked this episode, share it with a friend and tag us on social media platforms.